the first piece of this is you have to create um, like your power, right? And then we're going to get into your plan and then promote. So the first piece is like power. And what I mean by power is anybody and their mother can hop on Twitter, create an account and like start sending messages. But if they don't take the time to set up their account correctly, they're not going to stand out from the noise. So how do we do this? Well, the first piece of the puzzle is making sure that you have a personal profile uh, picture. Now, a lot of people sometimes, especially if they're companies, they use their logos. But the reality is the day and age that we live in, people want to connect with people, right? And so allow somebody from the organization, I don't care if it's a CEO, I don't care if it's a sales guy, I don't care if it's you, like allow somebody to be the face. And see, I tested this like with a, a couple of brands. Um, one of the brands, they had like a, a personal brand on one hand and on the other, they just said, hey, well, let's try their logo. Same, like two different accounts, same strategy, same content, which we're going to get into today. But the one with the personal profile picture, like completely kicked the brand's logo in the face. Like they were growing up to over 10,000 followers from just a couple of thousand within uh, several months. They're getting more click through rates. Their, their tweets were getting higher engagement, more retweets. And the brand was just kind of like pouring honey out of this jar in the middle of winter. Like it was slowly growing same strategy, right? So I learned right then and there, like people want to connect with people. They don't want to do business with the people who are the brands who are hiding behind their logos. They want to connect with people. So allow somebody to be the mouthpiece. So that's number one. The second piece of this is having your bio. So I call it having a rock and bio. A lot of people, they just throw words, random words, random hashtags into their bio. Rather than using this as an opportunity to use three or four words that describe you as a human being in life and in business, again, people want to connect with people. So give three or four short words that describe who you are very quickly. And then add in what I call the power statement, which is I help who do what. And a lot of people, they want to overcomplicate this and make this sexy and make it really clever when the reality is simple always trumps the complexity and the cleverness and the sexiness. Just keep it ridiculously simple and tell people this is exactly who I help and this is how I help them. And if you have like a URL that takes them to a lead magnet, since this is the email marketing summit, we're talking about lead generation, right? And building our list. So we want to make sure that our offer on the website that we're taking them to is congruent with that power statement. So whatever you're saying, I help these types of people, you know, get this result, that lead magnet with your website needs to be congruent with that statement because you're going to be connecting with people. And I'm going to teach you guys how to do that instantaneously today. And within like 24 hours, 48 hours, you're going to get more traffic to the site. And that's going to help you. The power statement is going to help you get more targeted click through to your website. Because I see so many people's bio, like I said, lots of words, lots of hashtags. I have no idea who they are. I have no idea why I want to take time out of my day to click on their link to see what they're up to. So just tell me, like, please, I'm begging you, tell me exactly what you do. So that's the second step. The third step of getting to this place of power is having your cover photo. So you want to design that thing 3,000 pixels wide by 1,000 pixels tall. If you buy into like Twitter, they're going to tell you 1,500 by 500. You do that, that pixel, I mean, that image is going to be pixelated. It's going to be grainy. It's not going to position you as a rock star, that authority within your industry. You need to have clean, clean images. So 3,000 pixels by 1,000 pixels uh, 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 tall, wide and tall. And uh, use that as like a virtual billboard, right? So if you have that lead magnet, then you could create some type of imagery. Think of this as your promotional billboard. You're having thousands of people who are going to be coming to your account. This is pretty much like a virtual highway. People are driving by. So that's an, an opportunity to make an impression and really position yourself into the marketplace where people start perceiving you as this rock star. One of the things that I learned, Liam, and when I was touring as a musician was that like image really does play a difference in sales. Like I thought it was a bunch of woo-woo bullshit. Like 